Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and it is time for another episode of Tinkercad TV. So let's get cracking. Friends, we are starting on my website, hlmodtech.com. It has a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing lessons. And then also there is a sweet built-in messaging tool. Friends, if you want to reach out, you can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, hit send, and reach me almost instantly. Friends, also up above, there is the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, we have over 300 members, and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Friends, today's design comes from one of my former students. This is from Uriel, and he has one of my skills that he really appreciates. It was when we started working with SVG files, and then you could bring them into Tinkercad to make awesome creations. So what we're waiting on here is a map of the Spanish Empire. If we give it a moment, it'll show up. And there it is, friends. It is the Spanish Empire Vice Royalty of New Spain love these techniques oh my gosh uriel grabbed onto this and just has not let go it is so awesome he shared with us and he added notes so let's check them out so this is santo domingo and it was the capital of the spanish west indies while it was a territory of new spain from 1511 to 1764 Right here we have Ciudad de Mexico. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. It is CDMX and it was the capital of the Voice Royalty of New Spain from 1521 till 1821. Right here we have New Orleans or Nueva Orleans and it was the capital of the province of Louisiana from 1762 until 1800. Right here we have Pensacola and it's the capital of the province of West Florida. And right here we have St. Augustine, which was the capital of the province of East Florida. And then finally over on this corner, we have Guam. Despite being thousands of miles away, it was under the rule of Mexico City. That's pretty amazing. Also another cool SVG, let's do F to zoom in. There is the actual logo. This is so cool. Uriel, I love how you're combining Tinkercad with maps to bring out awesome things and including the notes to teach us a little bit about history. I have got a second project of Uriel's I'd like to show you. This is using the same idea, but he has taken the SVGs and made his own 3D printable coins. If we zoom way in on these, you can see that they have the exact design and the texture. I have tried to print these on my normal FDM printers and I have not been successful. They're just too fine, but I do have it on my list to try and print one on my resin printer just because I think it would be absolutely awesome. Uriel, once again, fantastic use of the SVG skill, and oh my gosh, this is such a creative idea. Friends, remember, if you ever create something awesome and want to share it with me, possibly for a shout out, or just so I can see your awesome work, it is so simple. Click this button right here, generate a link, copy that link, and then you can reach out and share it with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, Gmail, and TikTok. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. If those options are not available, don't forget you can also visit hlmodtech.com, my website with the Tinkercad page, and then down at the bottom, there's the sweet built-in messaging. You can click that button, add your information, paste in a share link, and reach me almost instantly. Of course, you also have the option of the Tinkercad Community Discord, a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Friends, if you do make it to this webpage, don't forget the Designer Showcase. This houses the Designer Direct, which has the pro Profiles of so many amazing Tinkercad users. Friends, when you get out here, you can see all their designs sorted by likes. I like to click on latest so you can see the things they're working on now. Friends, if you see something awesome, make sure you click it and give them a reaction for the cool work they've done. If you look below that, friends, you can find Tinkercad Gallery 2. There are videos that explain it. And then also below that, you can also find the request a shout out link. Friends, if you've got questions about the process, of course, there's a tutorial. 
Friends, in wrapping up, I just want to remind you the Tinkercad Note feature is a fantastic way to bring life to any project. Super slick in a classroom. And of course, Uriel, thank you so much for reaching out and sharing your creations with us. Of course, friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.